Okay, I got Justin into a side. This will happen a lot after a throw or you ended up in this position. Okay, the first thing I got to do is tighten up the position. And I got to watch out for that hand coming here and start poking me in the eye or maybe grabbing my ear and start going to work. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to dig my face into his face so I short circuit him. So he starts thinking like a victim. So I'm coming here. This end here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze everything and I'm going to go starting clockwise and tighten up everything. So I also stay away from his legs. So again, I'm here, tighten up everything and come in. In the process, I'm going to start shooting. So I start short circuiting him. One, two, three, and as I move, okay, don't only get stuck into choking him. Start working. Now, as you start working, either Justin is going to bring his hand here and I can grab it here, or either his hand is going to be here and he's going to try to push me off into what we worked on the prior tape with the defense. So I'm going to either have to work from here or either work from here. I'm starting to work from here. In other words, I'm shooting here and his hand comes in reach of me grabbing right here. Again, I'm one here, one here, and right now I can grab that hand. As soon as I have this hand, I only have one hand to worry about. I'm going to keep short circuiting him here until I can rip right here. Okay, what I'm doing is one, and I'm coming back right here. Again, as soon as he taps out, that's him telling me I'm doing great. Rip it. As soon as I got it ripped, one, out. Again, push on the chest, out we go, kick, and out I go. Again. I'm here, I'm starting to hit, it protects, I can grab it here, from here, underneath here, rip it, rip it. As I rip it, he's going to tap out, ignore it, one here, from here, continue, turn yourself, out I go, kick, and out I go. That's in case he gives you that hand. In other words, that hand went here from the shooting. Sometimes he's going to have it here and he's gonna fight you back and you're gonna have to work from here because right now he's more defensive about it and he's a little bit more educated about it. Obviously you're dealing with somebody that has more experience on the ground right now and what Justin is gonna try to establish is to push me off and bring that leg over like we worked on the defense. I'm going to have to prevent that. As soon as I see that he's not protecting his face here and he's trying to establish a better position here, I am gonna know that he's more educated and he's gonna go for that counter, all right? I'm gonna have to shortcut that. Now I can't hit here because he's got my hand. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bump up this and I'm gonna headbutt him right with the side of my head in his face. I'm not using forehead against forehead, side of my head and I'm bringing the head to me and shoving it down. In other words, I'm doubling the impact of the headbutt. You might have to do that a couple times. As soon as you do so, his whole face is going to start tearing and you short circuit it, his whole way of thinking. Right now, you're going to be able to push this off. Again, I'm going to be able to push this off and I'm going to extend the hand. From here, this leg is going to hook. This leg is going to hook. If you're not that flexible, you're going to have to work on it or just use it with the other hand to help you out. Again, I'm here, he fights it, fight it. I'm headbutt him, one, two, extend it. Leg goes over. You got a problem with that, bring it with your hand. From here, other leg is gonna wrap around and create a triangle, all right? Now I get a freebie. The only thing I have to worry about him poking me in the eye here, but my hand is free. I can work here, I can break his fingers, I can hit him here, I am completely free to do whatever I want. From here, after I shoot him a few more times, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll up my chest area into here. Okay, in reality, right now he's tapping out. In reality, he's telling me, you are doing great, keep going. In other words, remember, he taps out, that's for sport, you stop. In the street, he taps out, he's telling you, yes, keep going. What I'm doing here, I'll free his hand. What I'm doing here, basically, is I'm pushing my pelvis through and ripping his whole elbow out, completely incapacitate him. Again, I'm here. He fights, he struggles, I never got a chance to bring it here. I'm going to headbutt him one, two times. Extend this in, hook it. Other leg hooks in, this is important. From here, I still give him a couple more shots to get him all his attention up here, and I'm going to simply rip here. As soon as I got ripped here, I'm going to rotate myself, hands on the chest again, pop up, kick my way out, and out I went.
ended up in the side position. This time his hand is going to be right here. You can push the hand one here and tuck it in and choke him out. When you choke him out here, you're going to squeeze and keep turning that way to tighten up. Again, so if the hand is right here, shove the hand, pass it. That's basically passing the hand here. Put your head across, squeeze everything in, and start turning here to make it stronger. Again, if he taps out, he's telling you you're doing great, keep going. 